everyone welcome or welcome back to the channel so on this video we're going to be initializing the passenger seat on a 21 i believe is a pilot 2021 pilot and we just replaced the srs unit it was involved in a collision so we uh, replaced it and now we have to initialize the seat and the unit so uh, once you start using your launch x431 for hondas and actors this is a 2.0 same setup same procedure 41.0 uh, this starts doing an auto scan so we're going to back out of this and we're going to hit yes the 1.0 doesn't do that so one slight difference we're going to go into diagnose here we're going to pick honda and some of these procedures may uh, be a little bit different depending on the vehicle but this is our test vehicle here so this is what we're using just follow the prompts once you start the procedure and it'll tell you what to do so 16 pin dlc here usa starting to communicate here this step takes a little bit takes a while and again the car was in a collision so it's kind of a messy inside here but i have what i need to do um you know what i when i need to do it so we're good there move everything off the seat which is a critical part you don't want to have anything on the seat here uh, when you're doing these procedures and thrown off the weight and stuff like that all right once you are in now you're going to hit okay uh cancel that all right so we are going to service function here and we're going to scroll up until we reach Let's see here where it is maybe under seats calibration in here Make sure there's nothing else here. All right, let's go into seats calibration here. Communicating. So again, take a while here. All right, here we are. So it was under a seat calibration here, which makes sense. Typically, I was looking for this uh, SWS initialization right off the bat, but just a small extra step here. Okay, now we're just going to follow the prompts to make sure none of these uh, codes are on. And you have between 10 and 15 battery voltage. And just follow, again, all the prompts and directions here. Once again, communicating. Once it's done doing its thing, we have initialization has completed. Check DTCs and clear if any if present. So we're gonna hit okay. We're going to turn our ignition off. Hit okay. Turn it back on. Hit okay. Again, follow the prompts depending on your vehicle. So now we are going to confirm that we no longer have any codes there for that. So we're gonna go into SRS. We're gonna hit okay. If it has any codes we're going to clear them so it does have this code so let's go ahead and clear so we can see clearly there for what it is clear fault code okay okay let's read them again and we no longer have any trouble codes here which is exactly what we wanted to do so exit here and now we just read data if wanted to if you wanted to check the um Wait on the passenger seat. We're going to hit OK here. So we have negative 0.18 pounds, which is about normal. We have our test subject here. Place that on a seat. And we can see 9 pounds. If I apply some weight on it, it changes. So the seat weight sensor is doing what it needs to be doing. So with that being said, that's going to be it for this video. And I'll catch you on the next one.